Hey, Mike Hobbs here, and this is part number two of creating my sales funnel my, using either ClickFunnels or lead pages. This will actually work, uh, the integration with GetResponse will actually work with either ClickFunnels or uh, lead pages. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're using either one, this, will, this video, this step number two will work for those in, in integration. Uh, of all of your pages, okay? Uh, now I use GetResponse uh, personally. I also have uh, a higher end autoresponder through Entreport. I use one of their uh, downgraded versions of that. Uh, it's, that's way more expensive platform and it's way more complicated than GetResponse. Uh, but I use GetResponse for years and I recommend it for anyone that's trying to build a list. So if you have Aweber, you have all those other things, uh, you can you can go find tutorials on that on how to integrate it with the systems that I use like ClickFunnels or uh, GetResponse, but I don't or ClickFunnels or Lead Pages, but I don't personally use those. I use GetResponse and I have another one, uh, but that's it. Okay, so this is the only tutorial I'm going to do it on is GetResponse. Okay, because that's what my systems use, uh, it's what I use, it's what you know a lot of my team members use. So uh, I will show you how to use GetResponse with those systems. Okay, so this is part number two. Uh, so pay close attention again if you have to pause it, rewind, whatever you want to do, uh, go ahead and do that. But let me show you the technical side of, of GetResponse. So the first step you want to do is you want to make sure you have a campaign you want your leads to go into, okay? Again, I'm not going to, this is not a training, this is more of just a how-to, all right? So the first thing's first, if you already have a campaign set up, I suggest you just choose one of those campaigns and, and roll from there. But I'm just going to pretend like you don't have a campaign yet. So uh, when you log into your dashboard, it may look a little bit different, but what you're looking for is create a new campaign. So you got to learn how to adapt. Uh, when when software and programs uh, update, it'll change the way it looks for you. So you're just gonna have to adapt and find where it says create a campaign. All right. So right now there's a little arrow here, and then you scroll down. There's a little create campaign there. All right. So you name the campaign that has to be unique uh, and it doesn't use dashes. So we'll just say uh, opt-in underscore giveaway underscore MMH. I usually like put my initials at the end because then I know it's available and we'll click create a campaign. All right, campaign successfully created. Couple things, couple settings before we get into this. I like to click edit campaign settings. And if you already have a campaign, you can do the same thing. You can literally just click on this little gear box next to your campaign that you already have. So if you've already created a campaign, you can do this as well. Just click on the little gear over here. Uh, then a couple things I do, or actually one thing I do, I go to permission and I uncheck email and web submissions. Okay, that turns off double opt-in. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but if someone puts their name and email in your page, it sends them an email saying confirm that turns that off. So they no longer have to confirm their email when you do this. So I suggest you turn those off. I leave everything else blank, everything else the same here. Don't mess with anything else. That's all you're looking for is permissions, okay? So as soon as you're done with that, now you're gonna go create a message in your uh, thing. So there's two different types of messages in your, in your autoresponder. There's an autoresponder, which goes out automatically, and then there's a newsletter, which goes out as a broadcast email, just a one-time broadcast. What we're doing is we're gonna create an autoresponder, okay? And then uh, we'll do it time-based on day zero. So this is what this means is opt-in giveaway. So what this means is when someone puts their name and email on, their pay on your page that you created, you're going to send them an email automatically right when they do that. Okay, that's day zero. So immediately, okay? And then you're just gonna create a new email right here. And name it. So we'll just say first email, you know, nothing big, just name it whatever you want. Subject, so this is your subject line. So if you gave away a free report, you might wanna put that in the subject line like, here's your free report that you opted in for, or here's the 21 uh, or the five top internet marketing tools that you, you requested, stuff like that. Uh, so we'll just say, here is your free gift. 
or I'll just say this. Free gift is inside. Obviously, customize this to what you give away. All right. Uh, from name, you may need to set that up if you haven't already, uh, but that should be defaulted there. Tracking, I do tracking, and then I click next step. Okay. Now there's different templates and things you can use. I like to do a blank template right here. Just use that template. Now again, this is not a training per se. Uh, so what you need to do is you just need to know how to do this and just fill it in with what you want to say in your email. Uh, but there's different things over here. You can do text block. So then you would just fill this in with what you want your email to say. So here is where you type your email. And if it's bold, you just highlight it and uncheck bold. Just like that. Super simple. More text goes here. Something like that. You don't need it all bolded. I think it was just defaulted bolded. All right, there we go. Now, if you want an image of yourself, you would just drag over an image block and upload your image. So you click on my images at the top and upload an image. I've already uploaded a couple images there, but it's just as simple as clicking upload. So let's go back to that screen. If you didn't see that, it, this is the default screen. You can click my images and you can click upload from URL. If you know where the URL is online or upload from your computer and choose an image, it uploads, it puts it in here. You click on it and it shoots it in your email. Okay, just like that. And then if you want a PS line, then you just do another text block. And that's how you write the email. Super simple. Let's just do this. And that's it. <laughs> For PS. This is my PS line. And, and that's it. <laughs> so we're not going to do anything special there. So there, we wrote the email. Click on next step. All right, once it's done here, you just click Save and Publish. Okay, now this campaign is set up. We set up a new campaign. It has one email going out automatically. So we are good to go there. So the last thing you need to do is hook everything up together. So, uh, so now you're gonna go over to what we call a web form. Again, we did not use the API because the API, you have to go through a ton of hoops. Uh, we use web forms. So you're going to go over to web form, create a new web form. So you hover over web forms, you're going to create a new web form. Again, if the screen looks different to you than your version of GetResponse, just look for web forms. That's all you're doing. So I'm training you uh, to adapt to changes right now. Just look for the web forms and create a new web form. Okay, here's the thing. You don't need to mess with anything because the, all the coding is done on either lead pages or click funnels. So you don't do any of this coding or any of this design work, okay? So you just leave all that alone, click next step. Okay, this is where you do customize. Web form name, I'm just gonna name it click funnels giveaway just so I know where it, where it is, okay? Or if you have lead pages, you can do a separate one for lead pages if you have lead pages. Just name it whatever one you're using. Uh, confirm opt-in, I leave that off. Now here's the key. You don't wanna use the default thank you page. This is your bridge page. So you need to click custom thank you page. And now this is where you go over to click funnels, click on your thank you page, and you're going to grab your thank you page right here, just like so. So you're gonna copy that link and you're gonna put it right here. Now this is something a lot of people don't show you. You wanna click on show advanced as well. And then right here where it says change already subscribed URL, I use a custom URL there as well. And I put the same one there, okay? So what does this mean? That means if someone has already subscribed to your page, 
and they're re-opting into the page, they will go somewhere. They won't go to a de already subscribed page. A lot of times people re-opt in, they don't even know they opted in before, and they'll say, oh, you've already subscribed. So you want them to go to your thank you page if they've already subscribed. So I like to change the already subscribed there. Okay, and then just double check and make sure it's on the right campaign. <laughs> I've had people set this up on the wrong campaign. Make sure it's the one you just set up and make sure the, the message is going out to them right there. And that's it. Then click next step. And then right here, you click on show HTML code and you're gonna grab all of this stuff. Uh, now you can turn off the CSS if you'd like. I do that all the time. I, I usually click turn off and then I grab all of this code. Okay, you need all of it. Okay, you grab every single piece of that code. If you're missing any piece, it's not gonna work. Okay, once you have that code, you go over to your click funnels. You go over to your opt-in page. Now I'll show you lead pages as well. Um, and by and, and actually, let's go back one step real quick on the settings. If your custom thank you page is in lead pages, then you would just grab your custom page. So in lead pages, the page you set up for your bridge page, so let's say this is my bridge page, I would grab that URL and I would put that there instead of the click funnels. So super self-explanatory, just grab your bridge page you created in lead pages. So if this is my bridge page, I would put that URL uh, there. Okay. So now let's go back to get response and go to the publish. So now that we do that, you grab the same code, turn the CSS off, copy it. You're gonna paste that over into your capture page. So in ClickFunnels, it's right here, open in editor. You're gonna open up your lead capture page, opt-in page. And on the right-hand side, you're gonna click on email. And then this is the integration. You're gonna choose the get response HTML that I told you to set up before. And then you're gonna choose integrate from existing HTML form. Then you paste in your code. You click the save button right here. And then right here is the most important part. You need to make sure your email is synced with email and the name is synced with name. Now, if you don't have a name field, then just leave the name field blank. But if you do have a name and email, you, you make sure they're synced correctly. Then you click save, okay? Now, if you're on lead pages, same thing. You just come over to where your page is, you go to the editor, so you just click on uh, edit on your page. It'll pull that up. You click on where the opt-in box is, all right? Then you click on your get response HTML right there. So under HTML, get response, you paste in the code, customize this form, and voila, you're done on lead pages as well. So it's super simple on both systems. All right, uh, then as soon as it's saved, you're just gonna make sure you save your page. Uh, then you're going to test it. So you're going to go over to exit. So make sure you always test your pages. So right here under opt-in, you click on the little arrow. It's going to open up your, your URL here. And there's our capture page. Same with lead pages. You just go test it. Just go to your page, open it up, put your name in, put your email in. Click submit, and voila, we're we got we're taken to the thank you page. It opted them in, opted me into um, my get response, and then my I should show if I go over to contacts, search contacts, view all contacts, and then I choose the one we just created. There we go, Mike. There's my email, sent me the email. Uh, sometimes it takes a few minutes for you to receive the, the email that you created in your inbox, uh, but at least you know if it shows up in your get response right away, you are good to go. So then just wait for the email to come to your email inbox. 
And once you see it, you're good to go. You can start marketing your page now. So you can literally just start promoting this URL. If you ever need to change the URL, let's say you want to uh, use your own custom domain, then just make sure that you change the custom domain uh, in your web form and stuff like that. That's why I always say to do the domain setup first. You can always come in and change the URLs later, uh, but just keep that in mind. If you ever change the domain name, you're gonna have to change it everywhere else, okay? Uh, last but not least, in the uh, email get response, I forgot to mention, in your autoresponder, that first email that you created here, let's go back to it, if you're giving your giveaway to them, make sure you link to your giveaway. Okay, so make sure you have a link going to your giveaway. I know we didn't cover that much, but so in the body of the text here, so this is be like link to my giveaway. Uh, and you probably created that in either lead pages or click funnels. So here's the link to the giveaway. You would put this link in that first initial email. You'd highlight it click on the little link button, paste in the URL, click OK, and there we go. Now you have the link to your giveaway there. Then you can save. Now you don't have to re-put the embed code or anything if you make changes to the emails, you're good to go. Once you've integrated your, your web form and you've tested it, you never have to deal with that again. It's hooked up for life. Uh, now you just go out there and market your business. So. Super simple setup. Uh, you can do that again, just do follow the same steps on lead pages. It works seamlessly with them as well. But again, use the web form. Okay. Do not use API. API, you run through a whole bunch of hoops. You can get your get response account shut down. Uh, a whole bunch of different things if uh, you do it wrong. So uh, just do web forms. Makes it seamless, makes it easy and it works. So I hope you got value from this training series on creating my capture page, bridge page, uh, giveaway page. Uh, if you got value, go ahead and comment below. I appreciate the comments. And you know, if you're in internet marketing and you're looking to generate more leads and sales, go over to my blog, whoismikehobbs.com. Uh, you can opt in there, it's 100% free. I give my daily action plan that it's actually gonna help you uh, generate more leads and make more sales. So with that being said, Appreciate you and I'll see you guys in the next video.